Hello, a very beautiful morning to you. You're welcome to another bright new day. This is a Light for the Nation, a daily devotional program that is brought to you by the Catholic Church. My name is Tony Abba. Today, Reverend Father Colin Sahigbe is telling us to depend solely on God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of this wonderful day. Help us always to remember that without you, we can do nothing. Help us to put our confidence and our hope in you, because you are a faithful God. We made these prayers through Christ our Lord. Our reading is taken from Psalm 121, verse 1 and verse 2. I raise my eyes towards the mountains, from where shall my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The word of God tells us our help comes from the Lord who makes heaven and earth. This is why, my friends, we need to depend on God because our help is in the name of the Lord. Every human being, including yourself, you are capable of disappointing yourself. There are so many reasons why we ought to depend on, ourself, on depend on God. So many reasons why. The greatest and the most important reason why we ought to depend on God is God is our Father. God created us out of love. He cares for us. We are his children. When you read 1 John chapter 3, verse 2, you say, look at the love that God has shown on us by letting us be called God's children. That is who we are. You are God's own child. I am a child of God. Every child depends on his of our Father. So if God is our Father, we should depend on God. That's why the Master said to us, say, come to me, all you labor and abundant. I will give you rest. Matthew 11, verse 29 to 30. So we need to come to the Master, the one who loves us. We are created by God. God created us in his image and likeness. Genesis chapter 1 tells us. Because God is our Father. Because God is the one who loves us unconditionally. The one who tells us the way we are. The one who is not loving us when we are good or when we do good. No. God loves us the way we are. Even when we go astray, God's love for us is constant. But the human love is not constant. That is why in Jeremiah we are told, cause is he that put his trust in man. Jeremiah 17, verse 5. Verse, verse 7 it says, Blessed is he that put his trust in God. So we need to put our confidence and trust in God. Why? God is the only one that will not fail us. Another reason why we should depend on God, my friends, is because God is trustworthy. God is faithful. God is faithful. Even when we are unfaithful, the Lord himself is faithful. He will never abandon us because God is goodness. There are many reasons why we ought to depend on God. God is love. When you read 1 John chapter 4, verse 8, he said, where love is found, there God is found because God is love. It is in the nature of God to love. He can but love us. But human beings, when you offend them, they will turn against you. They will give you space. They will abandon you. Because we human beings, most of the time, we love conditionally. Even parents, they love their children conditionally. The children who are doing well, they are happy. Those children who are stubborn, <laughs> what do they do? They give them space. They love children very well. Very few parents love their children unconditionally. But that is why we need to depend on God. Because God is the one who will always be there for us. We need to put, therefore, our confidence in Jesus, the one who came that we may have life and have it about that way. Therefore, we, to depend on God means, therefore, that in our daily business, in our going out every day and coming in, we entrust all our plans into the hands of God. You wake up in the morning, you remember that God is your refuge, that without God you cannot succeed. Bible tells us, entrust your plans to the Lord, and your plans will succeed. The psalmist tells us. That is why we need to entrust our plans because when we depend on God, our plans will be successful. We need to depend on God because without Him we can do nothing. In John 15, verse 5, the Master Himself told us, He said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Cut off from me, you can do nothing. Yes, we should depend on God. So Paul tells us, because with the one, Jesus Christ, who came that we may have life and have it abundantly, when we depend on Him, we can do all things. This is what we hear in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. St. Paul tells us, I can do all things through him who strengthens us. I am saying to you, my friends, as you listen, when you depend on God, you will go to places. 
When you depend on God, you overcome your weaknesses. When you depend on God, you will gain the grace for the journey of life. Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, that we are saved by grace. When do we get this grace? If we get it from God, God is one who gives us the grace for the journey. That's why we should put our trust in Jesus. Jesus Christ came to strengthen us for the journey of life. So when we put our trust in Jesus, the, the, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he gives us the grace and the strength for this journey. He said, come to me, all you labor and overburden. The one who loves us with an everlasting love. The one who will never abandon us, even when we go astray. The story of the prodigal son is very instructive. The father loves his son, no matter how, how he has gone astray. That is how our heavenly father is. Our father is merciful. Our father is wonderful. Our father is awesome. Our father is glorious. Our father is goodness. Our father is kindness. Our father is mercy in heaven. Our father is so wonderful. This is why as little children we can run to him and say, Daddy, I have gone astray again. Daddy, have mercy on me. He loves us so much that we can run to him and say, Daddy, look, I have done it again. Because he knows that we, we are weak. That is why we should be men and women of prayer. To depend on God, we need to be men and women of prayer. That is our prayer we encounter God. Our prayer we take all our needs and our expectations to God. Our prayer we come to before our loving Father. Who cares for us? Daddy, look, I want to do this. I don't know what you want me to do. Talk to me about it. When you have a quiet time every day, you spend time with God, we spend time with Jesus, and you, you talk to him, the Lord will guide you. When you read Psalm 25, verse 12, say those who fear God, the Lord will show them a path that they should follow. That's why to depend on God, we must fear God. We must still love God. Because when we keep his commandment, we enjoy intimacy with God. Therefore, I'm saying to you today, depend on God because God is wonderful. God is goodness. God is beautiful. God is so glorious. He can never abandon you. Your parents may abandon you. Your friends may abandon you. For, don't forget this. Jesus will never abandon you. Put your trust in him and depend on Jesus. And he will be there for you. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, I thank you for the gift of this beautiful day. Bless your children. Help them to depend on you. Many are worried. Take away their fears and anxiety. Bless every one of your children. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Reverend Father Colin Sahigbe is of the Order of Preachers, guiding us in today's reflections. I believe you have learned how to depend on God in whatever things you do in your life. But if you have questions you wish to share with us, please do not forget to send us a short message on the numbers displayed on your screen, or you can send us an email at ctvnigeria at yahoo.com. Or better still, if you're on Facebook, send us a Facebook post on our Facebook page. Let he has given me joy in my heart. He has given me joy in my heart. He has given me joy in my heart. Everybody come and join me. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. He has given me joy in my heart. Yeah.